I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'm not the real. Oh my god, I'm afraid of the reality. Who? I do. Celebrities react to Tracy Braxton passing away at age 50. Singer and actor Tracy Braxton, star of Braxton Family Values, has died at 50 years old. Uh, Tony Braxton, y'all, she shared a loving message that Kevin Hart sent to her uh, tr her sister Tracy Braxton while she was battling cancer. But after and a year privately undergoing a series of treatment for esophageal cancer, our beloved Tracy Braxton has gone on to glory. You know, may, may God be pleased with Tracy Braxton. Lord have mercy. The news of Tracy Braxton's death shook the internet, and fans are yet to recover. Currently, everyone is giving Tracy's family all the support they need in this time, while others are writing heartfelt tributes for Tracy online. However, what stood out for many people was Kevin Hart's final words to Tracy. So what exactly did Kevin tell Tracy? Just before Tracy Braxton died, Kevin Hart sent her a heartfelt video message. This message was shared by Tracy's sister, Tony Braxton, after the singer succumb to a year-long battle with esophageal cancer. Tony revealed that the 42-year-old actor contacted Tracy just before she died after learning she was a fan. In the video, which was posted by Tony to her Instagram account on Tuesday, the performer sent his best wishes to the reality television personality and noted that he was thinking of her. Hart began the video by stating, I was just made aware that you are a fan and how long you've been a fan, and I am aware of the love you've given me. The cop-out star then pointed out that he was grateful for her support and that he was thinking of Tracy during her period of treatment. I just want to take the time to give that love back and tell you that you are loved in return for the love that you have given, he said. The comedian also noted that he was thinking of her as she battled esophageal cancer. I want to tell you that my prayers are with you. I want to tell you to be strong. I want to tell you to stay positive, he said. The Jumanji star then urged Tracy to remember how amazing her family was and noted that she had made him feel good about himself in the past. He added, I want to tell you that you have an amazing family and support system around you that are doing their best to try to just keep you positive, uplift you in every way possible. I hope this video does that in some type of way. Hart concluded by stating, most importantly, my heart is smiling because of you. Thank you so much. The video was posted less than a week after it was announced that Tracy had lost her battle with the disease after having kept it private for a year. Alongside the post, soul singer Tony, who was known for hits such as Unbreak My Heart and Long As I Live, gave her thanks to Tracy's favorite comedian. She wrote, A lot of people didn't know about Tracy's illness because she preferred to keep it private. The performer also wrote that she wanted to send special thanks to Kevin Hart for taking the time to send her love and well wishes. She also added, you were her favorite. We really appreciate you. Tony previously confirmed that her sister had passed away with a post that was shared on her Instagram account on Sunday, and she wrote a short message to express her feelings about the tragic occurrence. She began her statement by writing, It is with the utmost regret that we inform you of the passing of our sister Tracy. The singer pointed out that her sister was a bright light, a wonderful daughter, an amazing sister, a loving mother, wife, grandmother, and a respected performer. Former. We will miss her dearly. She added, Tracy passed this morning as the snow was falling. Our angel is now a snowflake. Tony concluded her message by writing, We ask that you respect our privacy as we plan to send her home with love. Celebrating her life, we are family forever. Tracy's husband, Kevin Surratt, broke the news of her passing to TMZ, saying, We have come to a time where we must inform the public that after a year of privately undergoing a series of treatment for esophageal cancer, our beloved Tracy Braxton has gone on to glory. Tracy's son, Kevin Surratt Jr., also went online to talk about his mother's last moments, saying, When I heard the news about my mother being sick, first thing she said was, I'm going to fight and beat this. She fought to the end and today she's at peace. I love my mother forever and this hurts so much, but I'm at peace knowing she isn't in pain anymore. I love you, Ma. I'm going to miss you. Another family member who wrote a heartfelt tribute for Tracy was her sister, Tawanda Braxton. Tawanda reflected on a relationship with her sister, saying, Our morning ritual, laughing, saying good morning, or even watching the same movie on the phone in silence. No one will ever know just how we were as sisters. Behind the screen, living and loving our truth, all of us. Being on the phone together for hours at a time. 
an amazing daughter, a dope-ass sister, an incredible mom, and an awesome grandma, Bubby. A superstar. We never missed a beat without saying I love you whenever a call ended. A hummingbird was at my front door this morning, and all I could do was smile, knowing it was you, saying, good morning, Umba. She concluded the post by writing, my heart is broken, but now God has you in his bosom. I love you, my forever, Tracy. Evelyn Braxton also penned an emotional message for her daughter on social media. My dear, sweet, wonderful, incredible daughter, we slept in the same bed before she became so terminally ill, all night talking while sharing so many secrets. Evelyn said and added, as days, weeks, and months passed, she held on to her determination that she could be an example for someone else, that she could perhaps help them through this heinous disease. As I watched her every day, her mind grew stronger and more determined. We prayed every day. We repeated Psalms 23 and anointed our heads with oil. Tracy maintained God's peace. She never complained. She just knew she was going to get through this. It didn't matter how it looked. Life was hers and she was going to have it. I watched the weight drop off. I watched tears streaming down her face as she held on to her faith and her beliefs. She fought a good fight. She held on until she could not hold on anymore. Tracy's representative also told People Magazine that the singer died while surrounded by people she loved. Other tributes to Tracy Braxton began pouring in on Saturday, including one from Viola Davis. I'm so sorry. What a light you were, Tracy, she wrote. Condolences to the Braxton family, her son and husband. Rest well. Fans also made tributes for Tracy, with one particular fan noting, Tracy Braxton never publicly announced that she was battling cancer for a year. She posted a pic last year after losing weight, and people criticized her so much that she turned her comments off. Stop judging people. You don't know what they're battling behind closed doors. Another sad fan wrote, Losing Tracy Braxton feels like losing an auntie. We love that family, y'all. And I thank Tracy and the Braxtons for being so raw and selfless with their precious family time for us. As black people to feel seen, heard, and understood through their show. Prayers to the Braxtons. Tracy Braxton was easily the funniest and realest of the family. My prayers to the family, another fan added. Tracy was born in 1971, the third child of Michael Conrad Braxton Sr. and Evelyn Jackson. In the late 80s and early 90s, Tracy performed with her sisters Tony, Tawanda, Trina, and Tamar Braxton after the group signed their first record deal with Arista Records in 1989. Their first single, Good Life, was released in 1990 before Tony parted ways with the group. Tracy would release her first solo album, Crash and Burn, in October 2014. In the last few years, Tracy appeared in several movies, including The Christmas Lottery and Sinners Wanted. She also starred alongside her sisters, Tony, Trina, and Tamar, as well as their mother, Evelyn, in the Wii TV reality series, Braxton Family Values, which she co-executive produced. Aside from her entertainment commitments, she was also involved in philanthropic endeavors, supporting various charities and nonprofits geared toward women and children with disabilities. In a statement, her longtime manager, Cliff Jones of Soul World Entertainment said, out of all the people that I ever managed, Tracy was one of those that once was managing me. She would always manage the whole situation. We put a plan together for her to become an artist, an entrepreneur, an actress, and she did everything. When people said she wasn't capable of doing an album, she did too. People said she wouldn't do movies. She did everything she said she wanted to accomplish, he continued. Always the philanthropist, I've watched her give her last to someone in need. Amongst the obvious of a great mother, wife, sister, and friend, that is the Tracy we want people to remember. Tracy Braxton's death has gone down as one of the most painful deaths in Hollywood since many fans have been left devastated by it. But now I would like to know what fond memories you have of Tracy. So be sure to let us know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.